this was me at 7.30 in the morning, and I was supposed to be at my first delivery at 7.30. I still had to run to the truck stop, get fuel, and get ready for the day. I was way behind. Oh! Let's pull up to my delivery down here in Miramar. Oh, that's me right there. Cheese? Hold on. I'm taking my picture, man. I'm good. I'm good at you, man. Come on, man. What's up, bro? <laughs> if you're another driver watching this, then you know these metal seals will rip your finger open if you try to use just your hand and your fingers to break it. Yes, sir. You got it, man. And my next pickup is in Miami. I'm going to go pick up. I think it's called Hillbrand. I got to pick up a whole bunch of Heineken. A whole load full of Heineken. I don't know what's up with this liquid lately. I've been getting a lot of loads that are liquid. Straight water and Zephyr Hills water and beer and wine. There's a lot of thirsty people out there. That's what it is. So I was supposed to be down here in Miramar to get loaded at 7.30. It is now 10 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So I am crazy late, but which is good. My, my next pickup is not till 2.30. And these people here at Miramar, I know them. They see me all the time. I'm always bringing their loads. They're pretty cool with me. So I got a couple people yesterday to ask me, why a day cab? And that was only because it was so much cheaper. No matter what, I was gonna be home daily, regardless of the situation. Um, would I, if I could have got a day cab or a sleeper for the same price, if I was able to choose and I have to think about the money, it definitely would have been a sleeper. I definitely would have went with a sleeper, for sure, 100%, just because sitting here to get unloaded and loaded, sometimes it takes three, four hours, and I would love to have more room in here, like jump in the back, in the bunk, lay down, have a TV and everything else. The day cab does just fine. It, it gets the job done. Yeah, sometimes I gotta sit straight up for a few hours, but even so, I'll lay across both seats, I'll jump across there and lay across the street, and if you're trying to be home every day, a day cab, you can definitely do a day cab. You know, a sleeper be nice, but there's no point of spending that extra money just to get a sleeper. You look into what you wanna do. If you wanna be home every day, day cab would be the way to go, especially delivering out here in these big cities like Miami, Jacksonville, Orlando, all these big cities out here. Um, it's a lot easier to get in and out with a day cab. Uh, that's, something to, that's something to think about because a day cab is smaller. Um, the sleeper, of course, is a lot longer. You know, you got a bed, fridge, and everything in there. They're nice. Don't get me wrong, they're nice. But for city driving, city deliveries, this day cab is a lot, lot easier to back up. Like this next place I'm going to, I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna show you guys that I'm backing up, cause it's pretty tough. Hold on. You done already? Knock me out quick. That was fast. The next place I'm going to is crazy. Like the backing of them, it's really tight. It's a really tight squeeze for those sleepers to back in compared to how I'm about to back into there. I'll show you guys. All right, Bobby. All right, man. See, uh, this is why I like it here. I mean, dude had me in and out in literally 15 minutes. It was quick. Stupid dumb quick, actually. This spot here in Miami, truck central. There's so many trucks over here. It's so hard to get up and down the street because, look at my truck right there. Because they line up, you only got one, you only got one lane in between all the semis on the side of the road. That that big building back there, you show the trucks. That's the one Dixon. So right here. Is what I'm talking about when it's good to have a day cab because this backing is tough. You get your truck in there, you don't have much space at all. I'm, a, I'm hoping I can get this guy back in. Look, this day cab is probably about to pull out now. But between the nose of that Volvo right there to that fence, there's barely any room at all whatsoever. It really is a tough back. 
But I mean, I'm, I do it a lot easier having a day cab. So that's one of the best perks about it. All right, this guy's pulling out, but my truck is right there. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go move my truck to get out. I'm, I'm not even in there. I think he's talking at me. This guy, this guy's got the easiest spot. He doesn't have to get between. Oh shit! Yep, I think I'm gonna have to move. You know the other guys gonna have to move. This guy here is hot. He's 1738. What's that, Bobby? Fuck. Next. Yeah, he gotta get out. Oh, if he moves, he can get out, right? I can move because I got nowhere else to park. Oh, yeah. He's got plenty of room. There's not much space down here in Miami, I promise you. So these buildings and trucks are all packed on top of each other. To be honest, I'm hoping I get this door today. This one's the same one. He's got to put the end door. It's so much easier. We got all this extra room. I got to go in here and check in. Hello. My load is scheduled to pick up at 2.30 or 2 o'clock. And it is now almost 11, 10 minutes till 11. But she said she should be able to get me in a lot earlier than two, which is good. I hope she get. I hope I'm out of here in the next hour, hour and a half. That'll be great. It'll be a real early day. Oh, girl needs a bath. She's out here looking rough. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, these Cubans in Miami are reckless, bro. They don't give up. What's up, puppy? What's going on? New fish in what I want. Whatever I want. What you got? Hot food, hot food. Everything, my friend. What you got fish in there? It's a fish. It's a chicken breast. Chicken breast? Steak. Wow. Corn. Chicken geezer. Paetti. Bay chicken. Beans. Chicken rice. Rice and beans. You got beans in there? Yeah. More beans. Chicken nuggets. Eggs. Fried chicken. Oh, you on deck? Good food, good food. You then play, you fishing whatever you want. I don't know if I want. I just wanted to get a drink, puppy. Everything. I'm on a diet. Diet here, man. <laughs> he said diet, get a diet soda. Oh my God, with the Red Bulls though. What is this? Lemonade? What's that? Jello? What? Yeah. I didn't end up grabbing nothing besides lemonade and that Red Bull. All that good food, and this is what I got to eat. Ain't that a bitch. So, this sleeper was struggling, bro. It was pretty bad, but he, he ended up getting it in there. And so is this other guy. This guy right here in the blue, he was trying to pull out like 10 different times. You want me to be phone for you? No, no, no. I'm trying to get myself back in. <laughs> No, I'll let you get no, in there first. Can, no, you can go ahead and go. No, 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 man. That's all right. I'm on the end here. I got, I got the, I got room to work with. I got room as well, but I mean, if you want to. Uh, that's all right. You're already here. You sure, already brother? In. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Finally, they're out of the way. So the guy in the gray shirt that you just seen, he came up to me, and wanted me to pull up so he can back into his door first. His door is to the left of my door. I'm back. I'm the one backing in right now. Um, he, he came over and was like, hey, since you have a day cab and your truck's a lot smaller, can I go and back in first? Because he had that big sleeper, but I was going to let him. I don't know why he ended up changing his mind. He could have definitely jumped in front of me. Phone died as soon as I, as soon as I went and grabbed it, it died on me. And I wanted to show you guys this guy back it in. He did a really good job, but now he can't get his trailer straight. So he's pulled up 10 to 15 times. And see, that's the difference between a sleeper and a day cab. This truck is a lot longer than mine. And so is this one. This one's really long. I was really quick at getting the motor in. Right here. They do not play around here. What's up, it up? Okay, okay, okay. These Miami days be my early days. It is 1245. I'll probably be home by 3 o'clock at the house. Chilling. Oh, here's that metal seal again. 
bro it's january and it's 80 degrees and of course as soon as i start growing my hair out the free form this is crazy bro it's way too hot i guess i can't complain too much i'd rather the heat than the cold that's for sure i that snow that i'm watching on the news man more power to y'all Right here in the background is the Dolphin Stadium. You can see it back there. 